Welcome to Beyblade World by Zanki, and my show starts right now. So today for our Beyblade show, this video is called the Beyblade Burst B85 Killer Death Scyther um, 2 Vortex Hunter Unboxing slash review slash giveaway is going to expire on August 6, 2017. All you have to do is just type in the comments what you like about this video or what you like about the bait itself and prize will be for first. So and this second. is the newest God Bay. Well, before it was Legends Break, and, and also it's uh, Killer Death Scyther. Kind of funny the name too, because like it already has death in the name, and they just, for the god version of it, they just put like Killer. Maybe for like the third one, they're going to put Murderer, Killer, Death Scyther. <laughs> All jokes aside, this is a god bay. You can see the little things right here, little icons. It is an attack type bay, dual layer, burst system, and the new god layer system. And yeah, you can just see the bay is pretty awesome. You can see it's attacking another bay on that side. And we're going to move on to the actual back. So we got our new lair, which is Killer Death Scyther KD. And then after we got our disc, which is 2. We got our frame, which is Vortex. And we got our new driver, which is Hunter. Very excited to see how, um, you know, how the build perform. Because I, th I think it might be good. It looks pretty powerful. And also something else yeah, so I do sure, like. There's this make. cool little mechanic um, for the lair that's sort of like the gimmick. Basically, I guess it's like a blade that's on there, and I guess it just maybe attacks for like another time. I guess you can probably compare this um, to God Valkyrie in a way, sort of like a mechanic like that. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to open the bay, and you know, we'll go part by part, and then I feel compared to the previous We're going to go side. part by part. We have our lair, which is Killer Death Scyther, and you can hit, there's like a little blade thing right there. You can just see, I guess it goes, pushes back a bit, then after you can kind of slide it back, and it'll just like go and attack. It's a little bit hard, you can kind of see it. That's what it basically does, I guess. That's like the sort of gimmick towards it. You can see the gotcha right there, has a little D on it. Uh, looks pretty cool, we'll show the teeth at the end. And then after we got our disc, our disc is two. And then after we got our frame, which is vortex. This is nothing, the frame's not anything special. We've seen it before, it's just like um, light blue and transparency. And we got hunter. I'll save it for the actual comparison for the drivers because there's something I think is kind of cool. I don't know if it was intentional or not because it kind of does look like it. But it is uh, purple and transparent. It does sort of remind me, I believe, um, the driver is from uh, Excalibur, which is extreme. And yeah, so now we're actually going to show the teeth of the lair. So here is the teeth. Yeah, now so I'm now to we the have the death three scyther. Death Scythers and we're going to talk about the evolution. So we got the first one, which is Death Scyther Oval Axial, like the original one. Then after we have the Dual Lair, which is the Dark uh, Death Scyther Force uh, Jaggy. And then after we have the final one, which is Killer Death Scyther uh, 2 Vortex Hunter. And with the design, you can sort of see with the first one, you can see some purple on it. And it sort of has like four little blades around it. You know, that sort of, I guess, make out a scythe. And then after with the second one, the dual layer with the dark death scythe there, it has actually more of a scythe shape and has four blades. Looks a lot more powerful, still has sort of like the purplish uh, color scheme for it. And then after the final one, it kind of loses the purplish color scheme except minus the driver which we'll show in a second. It has mostly uh, blue on it and I think I actually, this is just my guess, you know how there is scythe there obviously in the name, you know, scythe and stuff like that. I think maybe because the little gimmick is that this little blade right here is supposed to go and then after like come back, I guess for maybe a double hit. Maybe it could be like representing like you slashing a scythe with it. That could probably be, that's just my idea. But you can just see it's much more evolved and you can just see it with the god base it's just get more powerful. And so now we're going to just show you the driver and sort of how So now we have the drivers, and as you can see, for the first death scythe there had Exil, then after Jaggy, and the final one, which was Hunter. And something that's very cool with the Hunter driver is that it kind of looks like it's combined with the Extreme driver and sort of the Jaggy driver. Because you can sort of see how Jaggy has all these little edges around it and sort of kind of like that design, little cone with edges. 
And then after you can kind of see it with this driver too, which will kind of lift up in a sec. You can kind of see it sort of has like those little edges and spikes on it. I thought that was very cool. It kind of looks like the Jaggy sort of like evolved into that. I think the design's very cool and I think it, it is definitely an improvement. I do wonder how powerful this bay will be, because sometimes the bay will v look very nice and look very powerful, but most of the time they aren't. But who knows? We'll see you throughout these battles. If Let's do a test launch. Them. Three, two, one, go shoot! So as you can see, this is an attack type bay. You see it's just circling around the bay stadium. Yeah, it kind of slows down a bit since it is an attack type bay. It's not going to be too crazy. I'm just going to stop the bay right now. It does look like, I actually, I'm very curious to see how it's going to perform in battles. I think I'll test this around most of the attack type bays. So obviously, um, God Valkyrie. I'll try to see some other bays that are very powerful in attack and see how we go against that. And maybe uh, some other God bays. But anyways. So don't forget about Gilbert expires on August 6, 2017. Probably this for first and second. All you have to do is just type in the comments what you like about this video or what you like about the bay itself. And yeah, like I said, I think the bay, I'm very interested to see how it's going to do battles. I think, and this is just my guess, I feel it's going to do very well in the battles. I think it's going to probably win each one of them. I could be wrong though, we'll see it throughout these battles. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a fantastic day. Hey, do you want to purchase any Hasbro Bailey Burst products or even maybe Taka or Tommy Bailey Burst products? Or since we are affiliates for eBay, Amazon, Target Entertainment Earth, we have links in the description below to help you with your Bailey Burst needs. And it's very affordable for very cheap prices. I think it's pretty good. They have very good deals in the, the links in the description below. So once again, if you want to go purchase some awesome Bailey Burst products, go and check it. And so we are folks, you know, we do get some money from this, and whatever extra money we do get, we'll make sure to actually improve the channel, maybe mic quality, maybe it's the camera, and things like that just to help the channel improve generally. Anyways, that's just a little quick segment. Thanks for watching once again.